Hello everyone, welcome back. Professor Piyush here. So I hope you guys are practicing with the help of the previous lectures, previous training videos and you are uh, following up this course. So uh, today's uh, model will be Prince Bay Marketing Exhibition Center which is designed by Acom Architects and it is located in China. So I will be using a site plan as a reference and I will scale that site plan. You, you can find that uh, drawings from Arc Daily websites. I have shared that link in the video description also. Today in this video, I will be only telling you about the skin part of this building. So let's start with it. So we have already downloaded the site plan from the website. So, so first thing what I will do is I will bring that here in Rhino interface. Uh, the best way to attach any kind of images to go through the surface creation. I will bring this here you can see there is a tool which is known as add a picture plane so it's better to add any reference images as a picture plane further in the course uh, we will also discuss how to make different models using the sketches or using the pictures let's say you're doing a product design work or you develop some concepts with the help of you know sketches very rough and abstract sketches and you want to convert those sketches give life to modeling so we can do it here in rhinos with super ease but for now, let's start with the site plan, bringing the site plan in of that building. I will use this tool, which is add a picture plane. It will directly take me to the folders. I have saved it here. I will just double click and it will ask me in the first corner of the picture, right? So either you, if you want that picture to be vertical, you can just click vertical and it will come in perspective only. It will come in blue axis or the Z axis. Right? Or if you want to import that picture with the help of center point, you can use this. For now, we only want the picture from corner. So I will just click the corner. Let's see your grid snap is on. So it can automatically it will, you know, snap to the zero zero point. I will click the first corner and then you can see it is giving me the flexibility to, to you know, adjust. Dynamically, I can adjust the size and shape, but it doesn't matter anyways. I'm going to scale this site plan based on the bar scale which is given in this. So let's go to the top view. And now I will just randomly I will put it here. Doesn't matter. Next step, you can just right click in the zoom extent and it will zoom all the viewports like this. Okay, that's a very handy shortcut. So now I will take this out. You don't need this. Now if you see, uh, I need to match this scale. This is like a bar scale. So for that, let's let's check. Is it actually in the scale? I will take the line command, single line or polyline also you can take. Now it is snapping the grid. I will off my grid snap and I will draw a line from this edge point of 20 meters. Let me on my ortho. So 20 meters here as my units are in centimeter. So I will take 2000 centimeter and left click you can see this is my 20 meter line which means uh, my plan is you know too much or it is bigger than the scale so what i will do i will reduce it based on the scaling reference scale right so this is another important tool in rhino which you should know that is scaling so if you want to scale this you know proportionately in green axis and red axis only which is basically Two dimensions right green and red so I, I can use scale two dimension now to bring the scale command you can directly type scale now you must be seeing scale 1d and 2d what is it let's go through it in detail uh, even if you go to the sidebar you will find this scale toolbar where you will see a scale three dimension scale two dimension scale one dimensions non-uniform scale and also scale by plane so uh, we will cover as the model progresses, I will tell you what all these scaling commands can do. But for now, let's, I will be using the two dimension scale. Why two dimension? So if you go to perspective, what I am doing is I am scaling or scaling it down or scaling up in the green and the red axis. So those are the only two axes which I am touching. So I am scaling my 2D plan into two dimensions, which is X and Y. Let's go back to the top view and uh, i will use the scale 2d command here it will ask me to select objects to scale so this is the object which i want to scale 
press and space bar or enter after selecting it right and then what we, you need to do is if the snapping is bothering you you can disable it for now uh, keep the ortho on it will help you now it is asking me the base point from where you want this plan to be scaled so as i said before i will be using this as a reference i need to shrink my my plan from 20 meters to this uh, from this distance to the real 20 meter distance which i just i've created which is around somewhere here right this is the real 20 meter distance but my my this picture scale is not right so what i will do i have given the first starting point then i will give this point because i want to shrink it down i will click here and i will reduce my plan and bring this bar scale to the real dimension and left click again to complete the process now you can see my 20 meter line is perfectly matching with my scale and my whole drawing is a scale and ready to do modeling so let's select the whole thing and move it back to the origin the shorter way is to use the move command select the whole thing use the move command give the point from where you want to move let's say this end point and then you can directly type 0 and press enter it will take the whole thing whichever you want to move automatically to the origin so your work becomes super easy now you can i will take this off our plan is perfectly scaled and ready to model you can delete this curve also we don't want it now next important thing what to do is layering managing and organizing your model that's the most important thing you should remember it all the time when you model select this go to the layer panel i've already created a reference layer reference plan layer you can also do the same or name it as per your comfort no problem with that right click and change object layer when we are modeling we don't want to disturb this thing again and again maybe let's say I, I am dragging or moving something this image can go here and there and change the whole model scenario so the best thing is to lock this layer all together so it doesn't move here and there you can't do anything now in this you can just draw over it to create the model of this building next step we'll be modeling this let's start let's go to perspective so our first step i will be making boxes as you must have seen in the image right like this these are imaginary boxes just to you know follow up the profile because the profile is going down like this so first i will be creating this outer box which will be actually broader than the inner one the real one right so i'll be using this as base and then offsetting it and then following up this line from this so i'll be creating two rectangles like this and then later on when this is done i will delete this outer one and i will keep the internal internal rectangle or the square right same way i'll i'll be repeating on all the sides for that i will be using a rectangle command which is corner to corner rectangle you can see if i bring the rectangle tool set there is a whole set of ways by which you can create a rectangle Currently, I will be using corner to corner. We have also covered center corner rectangle in previous uh, modeling process. You can go through it. So, let us take this corner to corner. Now, before starting, as we, we have to create in uh, Z direction also, as we are create as I am creating a vertical rectangle also. Let us off my ortho and grid snap. First thing, what I want to do is, you just go to your command line and see, before you give the first corner of the rectangle, you should see what are the options currently as i am going for the z direction which is blue axis i can use the vertical command it will help me to make rectangle vertical or in z direction through perspective so let's click this and now it is asking me the start of edge so the start of edge is somewhere here right and then end of edge so end of edge is somewhere here to make all my sides uniform what i will do randomly i will give some dimensions to it like you can see it is coming around if you see uh, down it is coming around 2129 so i'll round it off to around uh, 2130 and i will keep common this this dimension common to all sides all three sides press enter right and left click to complete now as you completed these two edges you can see automatically i can create a rectangle in z now in in this direction which is asked and it is asking me the height so height i will keep 20 20 meters that is 2000 
as my units are in centimeter and left click right so this is done same way i will repeat these squares and other two directions as well now all sides are uh, done next step is to create an offset as we have discussed previously how i want to you know take the profile ahead so i, I will create one more offset in front of it so instead of copying you know copying and moving this object in this direction which won't be as much accurate as i want the the best way is to you know offset it using offset curve command for that you go to the curve tools where you will find different tools which we have some of them we have already covered here you will see there is an offset curve command so if you left click it will offset or if you right click it will offset multiple curves so currently i want to offset one single curve i will left click and you will see it has already given me the offset curve but you if you go up and see different options it is asking me the side to offset distance so distance let's say i will make it 10 meters yeah somewhere around here direction already i am giving this side if your in C plane is no, just please check. If it's no, then what happens? It doesn't go perpendicular to that direction. It will just offset around this, right? Like this. But I want to be offset in front of it, just perpendicular to it. So for that, I will see that my in C plane is yes. And then it will give me an offset like this. And I will just left click and my offset is done. I will repeat the command. I will select offset this one also and I will repeat the command and I will select this rectangle and offset this one. So this was faster, right? Instead of copying and moving and getting to the points, this becomes more faster. So next, what I will be doing, I will be scaling these outer rectangles or squares, you know, making it larger than these on from all the directions, right? All x, y and z directions. So for that, again, I will use scale command. Previously, we used the scale command to scale my plan in 2D, two directions, but currently I want this rectangle or this curve, the square curve to be in all three directions. So for that, if you go to the scale tool here and left click to activate scale 3D command and which will ask me the base point. So currently I need to scale it from the center point. I will snap to the center point and then I will use the midpoint of this curve as a reference. And then I will scale and now you can see it is scaling on both X, Y and Z directions, all the three directions. It is asking me the second reference point on to which I want to, you know, increase it. So I will on my ortho, uh, I will use the shift command or it doesn't matter. You can straight away type the distance, right? Let's say I want to increase it, increase it to 12 meters. So I will type 12 meters as my dimensions are in centimeters so 1200 centimeter right and it will increase the size of this rectangle now you can see the outer one is little bigger than this one same way i will increase all outer rectangles and then i will join the profile to get my you know the overall profile of the skin it's how it is coming let's do this one select go to the scale tool scale 3d take the center point midpoint is the reference 12 meters done repeat the command or select the object repeat the command center point 12 meters done right my all three are done next step i will be giving some surfaces to them so to give surfaces as we have previously uh, used also the the very basic and very wonderful the loft tool which you will find in surface creation toolbar this is the loft tool so what does it do uh, you can give n number of curves to this and it will loft you and give you a surface along, right? Let me click this. It will ask me curves to loft. So I want to give surfaces to these two curves. So I will select them. Make sure your reference plan is locked. Now you can see how easy it's for me to select my lines when my plan is locked. So it's not getting selected on the way. So I selected my curves. Then I will press enter and then again press enter. And when you press second time enters, it will ask me to, you know, what kind of style you want to, you want in your curves. Like currently I want straight section, so I'll be keeping it straight. Do not simplify. Currently you can keep it as default or if you want to play with this surface, you want to rebuild with different control points, 
uh, and if you want to do some changes in the control point, you can definitely rebuild surface from here and you can have more control on your uh, flat surface, right? For now, I will keep everything as, uh, I will keep it straight sections and I will click OK. This is done. Same way, let's complete the other uh, two curves as well. Select them, repeat the command, done. Select them, repeat the command, done. Okay. So, these lofts are done. Now, next step is to provide those curve bends, you know. So, we have got this, right. We have got this now. Now, the time is to connect this top part, this vertical member. This is how the profile is going on. So, first, I will be creating this profile, you know, joining the top member with the vertical member of this side square we got. So, this profile, if you have, if you remember the, the first model which we did of the sister force, the twist museum, we use the blend curve command and automatically gave, gave me the twisted curve like this. So, we will use the same command and we will do some minor changes to match this profile. Uh, let us see how it is done. So, let us go to the surface tools where you will find that learn curve command. You see it is here blend surface, sorry blend surface not blend curve. Now, you select this, it will ask you, ask you to give the first edge which is around the top edge of this and if I take the top edge of this then the curve you can see in the plan the curve is following this way. So, I need to give the vertical edge of this. So, it is asking me the second edge. So, my second edge is this one. So, you can see the, by default it is in curvature which is going too wide not matching exactly the profile which I wanted. You can take tangency little bit right to widen it up. Now, it is almost similar. Uh, further arrangements and settings we will do later on. Let us keep it to this. So, these are the points through which you can you know define your uh, curve at different way like if you go for position only it will only create these linear things. If you want the curve to match as a tangent you can either keep one as you know this as one position and take second one the position one as a tangent. So, it will move like this right whichever suits your profile you can play with it or if you want both them in tangent you can do that, that also or if you want to go to curvature. Currently, I think tangency we will keep it and we will see what can we do with this and let us click OK to this. Now, same way let us create surfaces all sides as well. Use the blend surface command, the top edge and the vertical edge and keep things as it is. We have already said that before. Same way, again the blend surface command, the top edge and the vertical edge and you have got your three surfaces, right. So, this step is done. Now, let us go to the top view. Uh, let us cut this off, top view. Now, if you see uh, the profile which we have made is almost not matching to this, a little bit of minor changes are required in this. For that, what we can do is, let us bring this in front. I will use the control points to set my curve to these side plan, adjust my curves based on the plan which I have. To see the control points of any surfaces, blocks, models or curves, the best way is to use this command which is show object control points on or off for the left and right click respectively. You can also extend it. This is about point edit toolbar which give you different options. Uh, you know editing with the points. Currently, we are working, I just want to see the control points. We will cover them also one by one. First thing, I want to see the control points. I will straight away use the left click and it will ask me to select the objects for which you want to see the control points of course. So, I will select this curve and press space bar or you can do, you can select the curve and then take this command. It will aut automatically, it will show you the control points. Now, as we have the control points, first thing I will try to match, you can see this gray line here, I will try to match this curve side to this. So, for that, this control point, can, you know, controls this particular edge. So, I will select it and this is the best way, instead of using this gumball plays a very vital role in this, instead of using this green and red axis to move as we have covered in previous, you can use this icon, this uh, graph icon, right, it, it actually gives you a free movement. 
you off your grid snap, you can move your curve or any uh, surface, any direction, irrespective of the red and green axis. So it gives you a good flexible option. So I will use this and I will, you can see this, I will just match this curve. I will drag it backside, this control point, try to match this with this gray line, right? Almost close to it. But you see this line also gets dragged back. So there is another control point which governs this line or this inside of this curve, which is this one. So I'll select it and I will bring it little, push it little back. Now you can see it is almost growing in, settling down to this curve little bit from here. You can do these adjustments to align them as close as possible. Okay, so this side is done. Now let's check on this side. It is going also inside, not flushing with that. So this control point sets this curve or this side, this edge of the surface. I will select this and drag and this control point will take care of this part of the surface edge. I will drag this. So you, see, you can see now nearly my surface is almost matching with the plan. In the same way, I have uh, changed others also like this side and this one, both of them. Let's see how it is coming in the perspective. Yes. And uh, next step is to create this surface, you know, this gray one. This can only happen, we can definitely loft or create a patch over this, but uh, we want to create a planar surface. So for that, if you see here, these lines are not on the same plane. So what we'll do, we will create, we will make them on the same plane. For that, there is a wonderful tool. Let me open that. It comes in transform, which is known as set X, Y, Z coordinates. So what we will do, what I basically we will be doing is we will be bringing all these lines on the same coordinate. Okay, so let me take that tool, left click and it will ask me to select the objects to transform. So in, if you select right away, it will select the whole surface. Instead of that, use control shift because I only want to, you know, make these lines planar instead of the whole surface. So I will use control plus shift and I will select lines one by one and then press enter when done or right click. And then it will ask me, you know, to set the points. Like I, I only want to set them in Z direction in one plane. So I will keep other boxes off and will only keep the set Z box on and keep it aligned to world and click OK. Now it will ask me location of points. So my location is this point. You can see a gray profile of our same lines is already being visible here, which you can see. By, by, by this line, you can identify where our lines will come. So it is on these lines are on the same plane. So I will click this point. And you can see all my surface went onto the same plane. So now we can easily make a surface on these lines. For that, again, go to the surface creation. In this, there is a surface from planar curves. You can also patch it, but this is more better. As your lines are on the same plane, it's, it's better to use this. So select planar curves to build surface. It will ask. Select those curves one by one. And then left click or space bar or enter, you will see the surface is done. Good, right? Next, we need to create these, this, you know, fill up these vacant surfaces. So these are like fully extruded lines. So what we'll do is we will again select these lines, control shift, right? And this one. And then again, we will go for extrude surface from the solid tools, you can bring it or you can go to the surface and extrude curve straight. It is going both sides. If you see in the command line, it says both side yes. You can off it and just pull it down, doesn't matter. Later on, uh, I will trim it with the planar surface. Now you can see our this thing is also done. Now you bring from the surface creation, create a surface corner to corner, create a rectangular. You, you can either do it here or you can go to the top view, zoom out and create a surface. This will help us in trimming the remaining surface, which is going down in the bottom. So for that, you will bring the trim command, left click. It will ask 
to select the cutting object. So this is our cutting object. Press space bar or, or right click or enter. Now object which you want to trim is basically this one. You can see it is, it is trimming one by one or you can select all together it will also trim. And when you are done you can press space bar or right click again and now you don't need this surface you are done. Right? I, I hope till here all steps are clear. If not, please put down in the comment section so I can clear them up. Next, let's go to the plan view. Next, uh, we need to create this surface, basically this glass punctures and this top glass puncture uh, on the curved surface, on this tapered and curved surface. Before that, uh, now we don't need these, we can delete them. Yes, and if you want, you can create a separate layer for uh, profile curves. All these base curves, you can just go to the selection, and from that, you can use select curves, and it will select only the curves and all the curves in your model basically. And when you go to the layer panel, you can change object layer for temporary basis. We can hide it so that your uh, neat and clean model is clear. Now what we need to do is, as I told before, we need to create these punctures. Let's do that. Select this surface, zoom select. So either you can use left click to bring it in or if you want, you know, in all the viewports you want this to be select, you know, the zoom selected option to be in the front. You can just use your right click and it will bring, bring that only the selected element in all the viewports. So both way to box. Same goes for the zoom extent. Let's say if you want only in a certain viewport in perspective, let's say currently I'm in perspective. If I use the left key, it will bring the whole model only in the perspective. And if I use right click in the zoom extent, it will extend in all the viewports. Let's go with the zoom selected, maximize the perspective. We need to create an offset for this. So but offsetting in a curved surface that is different from offsetting in a linear surface. So we won't be using the typical offset command here. We'll be using a different offset method, uh, which is uh, you have to bring your curve tool set, right? In that, in this curve tool set, you will find offset curve on surface because we want this, the curves to be the main of the surface. That's why we can puncture it. So I will use this. It will ask the curve on surface, right? But you don't have a curve. So what to do? The best thing is get out of this command first, select the surface and go to the curves from object. So this toolbar helps you to bring out any type of curves from any type of object which you want. Currently, I want the boundary of this particular surface, right? So for that, the best suited tool is in this duplicate border. Because this is a surface, I only need the border. So I will click this right away, straight away it will duplicate all the border from the surface. And my surface is still intact, nothing changes in that. It only extracted the border or duplicated it. Now we can go back to offset curve on surface and select curve. Now it asks, I have a curve, I will select the curve. Now it will ask the base surface on which you want to offset. You know, you want this curve to be aligned with which base surface. So Obviously, this is the base surface and make sure your arrows are on the right direction, the same directions. I will keep the offset distance as 100 centimeters, my unit is centimeters and then right mouse button or space bar or enter, you can use any of them. Let's go to the top view and see how it's happening. Now, what you see is it, this line is almost aligned to this. It's okay, we can uh, survive with that. Next, what we want to do is we want to cut out this extra portion. We don't want it because the glass puncture is starting from this distance. So I will bring my polyline command and just, you know, visually I will let off my smart track for a while or you can disable your uh, object snap. If it's bothering you. Actually, I want near. So I will keep it like this. You can set a perpendicular or you can set it not to not. You don't have to be precise as per the drawing, just conceptual understanding how things works here. Now to trim these things, I will use trim command. It's here, trim command, select cutting object, 
this is my cutting object and then right mouse button and delete the remaining portions and then right mouse part again to get out of the command or escape key also you can use. Now you see there is a curve here. So there are many ways you can create this. You can directly you know uh, use the fillet curve command. There is an option here. You can use the fillet curve, fillet the edges you know or you can use arc command to bring an arc here and the but but the best and and most versatile is using the adjustable curve blend here in the curve tool set only to do that you need uh, some two base lines so uh, before using this what i need to do is i need to i will be using delete sub curve command it will actually create space in between and remove the remaining lines which we don't want let me show you let's say i will select this curve and from this point till this point i don't want the line so i will click here right and then again delete sub curve select this curve this time from this point to this point i don't want any line so i will remove this much same process i will repeat you can use when you right click the previous command automatically comes you can see curve edit command automatically it has came i will follow the same process right from this point again right click it will bring the command back and i will use this now this is a perfect situation to use adjustable curve blend so what does this command do this command is very handy activate this command it will straight away ask you to select curve to blend you can also use fillet corners but this i will show you what is the advantage of using a curve blend it it will ask curves to select so this is the first curve and this is the second curve you can see how beautifully this these curves are blending in it also gives you certain handles here which you can in this point only you can select and you know make some modifications to actually match your curve if you have something to trace or you can set accordingly not a problem currently the tangency is on so tangency means this line is tan the, the curve which is joining this these two lines will be tangent to one and tangent to second curve like this if you do curvature can see what's the difference it is getting more bulgy so i'll keep it to this and i will do some modifications and i will make it it's okay for me and i will click okay to finalize this again i will use right mouse button to bring the previous command back which is you know adjustable curve blend select the curves one and two and you can see it is coming almost the same again i have a handle i will use to you know just give it a little touch is everything okay click okay and you're done right let's go to perspective and see yes this is what we wanted basically uh, let me remove all these right so uh, these are separate separate curves what we need to do is i will select them and you know join them select them and then go to the join command left mouse button and they are joined next what you need to do is you need to bring this curve and you know pull it or let me split let me try splitting this this whole surface using this curve you know and then so that i can make a puncture here so for that split command left click select objects to split definitely i want to split my surface press enter one done so right mouse button then select cutting object so currently my cutting object is a curve so i will select this and then right click again and yes you can see it's successful i have easily splitted my surface into two you follow the same process for other two as well okay so uh, all of them are done you can see all of them are done i am sure you guys have also done that next is the the top puncture the top glass the skylight so this is kind of a, a polygon so i will go to the polygon command you can see there are different ways to make a polygon here i will be using center polygon and by lump sum just using the help of my cross here i will create later on i can adjust this definitely hold your shift key if your auto is not on to align the axis yes this will do now you can see these two control points i will select control shift select these two use this red square button in your gumball make sure your gumball is on so how does it help if you just click this and drag and hold the shift key it will drag in two dimensions right 
or if you select control shift and use the shift key and then drag currently it will go in the same proportion but in scaling it helps let's say i will show you let's say this this whole uh, polygon and hexagon you want to scale in proportion so what happens if i use the shift key and then drag this red button you can see how it goes in all the directions and what happens if i don't press the shift key and select this red square and then drag you can see it is stretching on only that direction so currently what we want we want so likewise wherever required however you want to use this gumball it becomes handy so currently i want only to extend in these two directions so i will not use shift key i will just i can you know straight away you just you know extend them on this axis same way these two so control shift right control shift if your uh, these points are not visible you can uh, you know anyway you can go to the sidebar and use this show object control points left mouse button and if you don't want you can use the right mouse button it will go off all the points will go off right so these points need these two point needs to be here so i will select these two points you know control shift select these two points first of all let me bring the points yes and select them and then you can drag towards somewhere here nearby those points and then again use control plus shift use the red button to extend them on both the directions same you can do with these two points you know pull them down to match select them again this time to pull them inside so we have easily matched the polygon you can off right click right mouse button you can off the poly these uh, control points you don't want to see them currently it is downside as we did on the top plan so i will select this and go to the pers perspective and i can you know go to the solid tools i can straight away extrude closed planar curve click and i can extrude it right and then i can use boolean difference or i can use split command to you know split this surface select objects to split i want to split this object and then select cutting object this is the cutting object and i can delete the remaining one so i will i am i only got the surface which we want later on i will create some glass layers and i will put all these surfaces in the glass you can do it at any you know stage of the modeling okay next if you want this plan you don't need it now you can just you know hide this what remaining is the bottom surfaces so i will use polyline right create polylines to create the base this is just a conceptual you know idea to make you understand how profile of buildings can be developed uh, let this is the initial stages of the course so i am you know not explaining more details like you know panelings and all the glass and the contours slowly slowly we'll get into it but in in one of the videos before i have explained only the co how contours can be interesting so likewise in every example i uh, will be discussing one or two points in detail later on and and when we get get to the later stages of the course you know we will work in detail and i don't have to follow you also too much at every each and every point so you slowly you will also uh, you know be faster in this so all this is done you know how to create a planar surface from your solid creation tool you can use surface or planar curves so you don't have to use control shift uh, in the planner you can straight away take the curves so our base is done you can uh, cover this also if you want again taking the planner curves okay this is the whole curve okay let's use control shift curve segment curve segment segment and curve and then see what happens if i use yes i can cap it easily so here the control shift is helping a lot control shift take the either you can take surface edge also both will work or if you have already have a curve then you can use the curve segment curve segment this is already a curve segment and curve right and then go to the surface from planar curves it will cap follow the same here control shift 
let's see what happens with surface edge. Surface edge. Yes, this is also giving me the same result. Good, right? What is the next step to add glasses to this? Right, that is very simple. Previous also we have done that. Make another layer, glass, windows, or no, just short it up. Select all the punctures, all the openings, the glass opening. Sorry, use shift to add to selection. Here also you can show glass, and I will right click, change object layer, and from from the material I will go to let's say something plastic. This is just you know just an abstract transparency color. You can adjust the color, right? And let's see how it comes in rendering. Yeah. Okay. Let's see in the Arctic view. Fine. Now these curves are still reflecting. What you can do is you can. Uh, this is another shortcut. I will cover that in later uh, videos in detail. Like how can we be faster in uh, you know when you click your middle mouse button, this pop up comes. And how can we customize this pop up based on your uh, usage, based on your work? All these commands which you see here, I have added them to fasten my work. Just like you know, I want to select curves straight away. I will just use my middle mouse click and straight away I will select my curve. And I'll put all those curves in profile curves, and this is my a basic skin of the building. I hope uh, you guys have learned in this a lot, and try to follow the exercises. In every exercise, you learn something new, something repeating. So it, it's it's like a revision plus you know adding something new to your learning. I will be mixing up the exercises, small building exercises, then later on some product design, small small. Uh, you know how do we do, do the detailings of headphones any daily use of your products yeah, you will learn from uh, all those uh, examples as well so keep learning guys keep keep following uh, this whole playlist whatever doubts or, or you you think you are uh, stuck in some situation or some problems or you have a specific model you are working on there are, there are some issues you can definitely put those in the comment section with the details and you know we, we will try to solve that up. Thank you. See you next time.